Hello. Hey everyone, I'm Scott and I'm a vocal coach. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me. Now many of you have asked me to react to Sir Tab Erdener. And so today we're going to react and analyze her acoustic version of Ashk. I'm super excited for this one. Also just a gentle reminder that this is a reaction and a deep analysis video. So I will be pausing every now and then. Let's go. So in this first verse, I'm noticing five things. Number one, she's holding on to the end consonant in the following words. And The M consonant sounds very muscular. She's feeling the precise movement of her lips so that consonant can sound more defined. Number two, her hammer vibrato. The oscillation is rapid, but it sounds sweet. Number three, her vocal fry or her creak. Adding that grit to her voice is a great sound effect. Number four, that quick transition into her operatic voice quality. Let's break it down. So she starts off with a thick chesty sound on the vowel A. Next, she quickly and smoothly goes into her opera sound and modulates that vowel to an U. And from that U vowel, she opens it up to an A vowel. I just wanted to remind you that this is all happening within three seconds. Oh my god, that level of control she has is insane. And number five, her mouth is nice and wide and this creates space for her sound to become more fully resonant. The chorus is sitting nicely in her sweet spot. She's holding on to that cry feeling and this is creating a nice and stable setup inside. Let's see what else Sertab is doing vocally. That vocal snatch. A lot of singers use this to end certain vocal lines. Kirby. She gets to that high pitch with so much precision. Vocal flips. She's giving movement and a sense of forwardness to her chorus. And I want you to hear how she ends this particular vocal line. What sound did you hear? Yep, she used vocal fry. Get 
There is so much flow in this particular vocal line. It's this one right here. I don't know, to me it sounds like bubbles are forming. It's so cool. So I can hear Sir Tub layering three different things all at once. She's moving into three pitch destinations by sliding up from one pitch into the next. She uses her vibrato as she's sliding up. I think that's what's giving me that bubbling visual in my head. She plays around with the volume. She's getting louder and louder and then pulling back into softness. Let's take a look at how she prepares for that operatic high note. I want you to take a close look into her lip action. What is she doing with her lips? Well, she's prepared for that high note by placing her lips in the right position before any sound is being produced. This creates the ideal position for the vowel and also gives us that warm quality to her sound. I also love seeing her whole body engaged. She's basically supporting those notes with her body. They sound stable, easy and effortless. Hearing the Turkish language, it's so beautiful. We can hear the contrast between the brightness and the darkness in her sound by the way she's shaping certain words. Let's have a listen to this phrase here. Her lips are spread and wide on the word ashk. And then it narrows for the words don olum den. I tried. This is creating interest, dynamic and variety in her singing. And she uses the natural shaping of her mother tongue to give us this contrast. A mark of a great singer is vocal dexterity, crafting the voice in a way that's giving us, the listener, some variety. And Sertab did just that. She did something different to this final chorus compared to the previous two choruses that we heard earlier in the song. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Instead of singing in her thick and chesty sound, she flips into a breathy high note. 
For me, when a singer is able to give me a moment of surprise, something unexpected, I freaking love it. What Sertab also did differently in this final chorus was that she was able to sustain that high note at the very end. <laughs> Did you also notice how her body responded? She contracted and moved with that vocal action and her face shows no tension which means that there's a lot of ease in that sound production. Vocal expression is everything for a singer. And in this particular moment, Sertab is breathless because of that high intensity singing in the final chorus beforehand. She uses that breathlessness as an emotive singing technique. It's an artistic choice that she's made here. And I also love hearing her voice swell up in volume from softer to soft. Now did you hear that vocal slide? Her notes are sitting in her upper register. And to produce a sound that's light, controlled and smooth without any cracks requires a lot of training, repetition and practice. And lastly, which consonant does she hold on to again? That's right, the M. This creates a bit of tension for us before she releases it on the word Danyama. So these sort of details that I managed to pick up are all over her vocal performance. They are so subtle, so nuanced, that we don't really pay attention unless we tune in. So Tub is a freaking amazing singer. What a performance. There's a beautiful blend of rock, pop, and classical qualities in her voice. I love watching her show full commitment to those notes, especially in her body and in her gestures. It takes a great singer to make us feel safe. At times, I did think to myself, is she gonna crack? Because those high notes are really loud big and really demanding but she reassured me that she is a pro and that she can get the job done and that's all for today thank you so much for being here and for learning with me thank you to everyone who recommended so tub i love learning about different singers from around the world so if there's any particular artist that you would like me to react to please let me know down below and i'll try my best to react to them we also have other amazing singers on the channel so please feel free to go and explore. You're awesome, stay awesome, and I'll see you next week. Bye.